Yes, uh, this is um, Salome by Oscar Wilde, uh, founder of aestheticism, brilliant playwright. It was banned and then censored, forbidden performance in the UK. The UK actually, uh, they were not quite as on it with the avant-garde theater movement as we were because they had a licensing act where everything was controlled by this one dude until 1968. So a lot, a lot of censorship there in terms of theater, the realists, everybody. Anyway, sorry. Um, so Oscar Wilde also, as you guys may remember, was uh, sentenced to jail for being in love uh, with another man. And uh, it's so horrible. So just a whole lot of messed up things happening. Great. Yeah. And uh, the, where I'm playing King Herod. Oh, yes. And uh, Tari is going to be Salome. <laughs> Typecasting. Stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, wonderful, wonderful! You see that she has danced for me. Come near, Salome. Come near, that I may give thee thy reward. I will give thee whatsoever thou soul desirest. What wouldst thou have? Speak! The head of John called the Baptist. <laughs> no, 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 Salome. You, you do not ask me that. Do not listen to your mother's voice. She is ever giving you evil counsel. Do not heed her. I do not heed my mother. It is for mine own pleasure that I ask the head of John the Baptist in a silver charger. You have sworn, Herod. Forget not that you have sworn an oath. I know it. I've sworn by the gods. I know it well. But I pray you, Salome, ask of me something else. Ask of me half of my kingdom, and I will give it to you. But ask not me what you have asked. I ask of you the head of John called the Baptist. No, no, I do not wish it. You have sworn, Herod. Come, Salome, be reasonable. You will be reasonable, will you not? I have never been hard to you. I have ever loved you. It may be that I have loved you too much. Therefore, ask not this thing of me. This is a terrible thing, an awful thing to ask. Surely, I think you are jesting. The head of a man that is cut from his body is ill to look upon, is it not? It is not meet that the eyes of a virgin should look upon such a thing. What pleasure could you have in it? None! No, no, that is not what you desire. Hearken to me. I have an emerald, a great round emerald, which Caesar's minion sent me. If you look through this emerald, you can see things which happen at a great distance. You would like that, would you not? Ask it of me, and I will give it to you. Give me the head of John the Baptist. Salome, think of what you are doing. This man comes perchance from God. I am sure that he comes from God. He is a holy man. The finger of God has touched him. In the palace, as in the desert, God is always with him. God is for him and with him. Furthermore, if he were to die, some, some misfortune might happen to me. In any case, he said that the day he dies, a misfortune will happen to someone. That could only be to me. Remember, I slipped in blood when I entered and heard a beating of wings in the air, a beating of mighty wings. These are very evil omens. And there were others, I'm sure. Well, Salome, you do not wish a misfortune to happen to me. You do not wish that. Listen to me, then. Give me, for the last time, the head of John the Baptist on a silver charger. You are not listening to me. Be calm. <laughs> I am calm. <laughs> I, I am quite calm. Listen, I have jewels hidden in this place, jewels that are marvelous. They are treasures without price, but this is not all. What, what desirest thou more than this, Salem? Tell me the thing that thou desirest, I will give it thee. All that thou askst, I will give thee, save one thing. I will give thee all that is mine, save one life. I will give thee the mantle of the high priest. I will give thee the veil of the sanctuary. You have sworn, Herod. Let her be given what she asks. Wherefore did I give my oath? Kings ought never to pledge their word. If they keep it, it is terrible. And if they do not keep it, it is terrible also. I am not sure, but some misfortune will happen. <laughs> Thou wouldst not suffer me to kiss thy mouth, Jonathan. Well, I will kiss it now. Thou wouldst have none of me, Jonathan. Thou didst reject me. Thou didst speak evil words against me. 
<laughs> Thou didst treat me as a harlot, as a wanton, me, Salome, daughter of Herodias, princess of Judea. Well, Jonathan, I still live, but thou, thou art dead, and thy head belongs to me. I can do with it what I will. I can throw it to the dogs, to the birds of the air. Oh, Jonathan, Jonathan, thou art the only man that I have loved. All other men are hateful to me. But thou, thou wert beautiful. Thy body was a column of ivory set on a silver sea. Thy voice was a censer that scattered strange perfumes. And when I looked on thee, I heard strange music. Jonathan, I loved thee. I love thee only. I am a thirst for thy beauty. I am hungry for thy body, and neither wine nor fruits can appease my desire. I was a princess, and, and thou didst scorn me. I was chaste, and thou didst fill my veins with fire. Thou hadst looked on me, thou hadst loved me, and the mystery of love is greater than the mystery of death. Love only should one consider. She is monstrous. She is altogether monstrous. In truth, what she has done is a great crime. I am sure it is a crime against an unknown God. Come, I will not stay here. Come, I tell you, surely some terrible thing will befall. Put out the torches. I will not look at things. I will not suffer things to look at me. Put out the torches. Hide the moon, hide the stars. Let us hide ourselves in our palace. I begin to be afraid. I have kissed thy mouth, Jonathan. I have kissed thy mouth. There was a bitter taste on thy lips. Or was it the taste of blood? But perchance it is the taste of love. They say that love hath a bitter taste. But what of that? What of that? I have kissed thy mouth, Jonathan. I have kissed thy mouth. And then I like fondle the head stuff. Thank you. Guys. <laughs>